We've learned how to scale technology pretty well, but the organization structure has always been per painfully incremental and linear. And so we're seeing this new breed of organization that can scale as seamlessly as technology can scale. We came up with a score for how to measure that. In terms of who came out on top, not surprisingly, many technology companies were there. Why don't we take a look at the top 10? You start with Google, Amazon, Apple, IBM, Verizon, Disney, and General Electric. Some of those are a little interesting to see, a Disney and a General Electric there, but it's rounded out by Microsoft, Cisco, Cisco and Oracle. Why? I guess it makes sense to have technology companies there because these guys are new, particularly new companies. But why does a company like an IBM, like a GE, like a Disney wind up there? Um, you know, uh, Disney and uh, uh, GE are doing some phenomenal things of taking their old org structures and aggressively tweaking their organizations to tune it more for adaptability and flexibility. We're in an ever-changing world, and your org structure has to be more adaptable. Scalability and predictability were the old heuristics that they operated off. With GE, I think particularly just of spinning off some of the units, like NBC Universal, which used to be one of the units, and more recently, the, the, the GE Capital, big chunks of that getting spun off. But you're not talking about just spinning off units. No. For, the, for example, the lean startup methodology, GE has implemented the biggest corporate training exercise in history They've put like 60,000 people through that program. Does it translate into advances in the stock market? Because some of these stocks have not been the best performers. We partnered with Holt Business Schools to do this uh, analysis, and we found that there's a trailing correlation of this EXO score with stock market performance. Trailing how far? Two years. Two years. So two years out, you would expect these companies that are at the top list to have performed well? Yes. Wow. How far back did you test that? Uh, we went back two years, but, but the world is changing so fast that we're seeing radical market changes today at an accelerating pace, right? Um, uh, the companies like Uber, Airbnb are exploding out of the gate, un, 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 unlike anything we've ever seen before, because they've learned how to drop their cost of supply. And that's a very new phenomenon in business today. What, what you found was the companies at the bottom it tended to be oil and gas companies, Philip Morris, Cost, or Philip Morris, Marathon Petroleum, Hess Corporations, Philip 66. Those all wound up in the bottom 10 corporations. Is, is that because these companies are basically just commodity companies? Yeah, I and mean, they haven't needed to be that adaptable. If you're pumping oil, you want to do the same thing again and again, and you don't need to change very much. But with the advent of solar coming along, for example, we predict that in about 23 or 25 years, 100% of world energy supply will be deliverable by solar. By solar alone? By solar. By solar. Not deliverable. Nuclear? Deliverable by solar. Because oh, you, solar is, you could do it, but you it may could not do be it. the most effective. It, it won't always efficient. be there, but we are, solar is on a doubling pattern where we're doubling every 22 to 30 months in its price right. performance. Okay? At that pace, we will hit that point. And more importantly, because it's on a doubling pattern, let's say it's take 25 years to hit 100% deliverable. In 200, two, uh, two years after that, you had 200 percent. Two years after that, you had 400 percent. And that just keeps going. But you're not wow. predicting necessarily that the world be, will be powered solely by solar. A vast majority years. of it will, because by then all of the edge applications, homes, small business, cars, etc., will all be powered by solar. Uh, I give a talk to the CEOs of all the electrical utilities in the country, and they're kind of panicking right now.